Welcome, gamers, memers, and all of the alike, to these to this week's episode of Cheat Code. 2020 has been a long year for some, and even longer for others. With many jobs and businesses shutting down due to the p- pandemic, the gaming industry is still running strong, especially with most people staying at home during the pandemic. This week, we will give you a rundown of all the gaming news that happened this year. All right, so let's start off with the big headlines of 2020. So we've got the reveal of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Uh, if you don't know, uh, they're both releasing holiday of 2020, and that's all has been released for the release dates. Um, you may be thinking, uh, what could be better than the current generation of consoles that we have today, like PlayStation 4, Play- or Xbox uh, One X, uh, and uh, the Nintendo Switch? Um, well, let's first find out about, out about the downsides of the current generations. Um, so, with the current generations, um, they're limited to 30 frames per second, uh, you know, which isn't the greatest. It's 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 all right. Um, and so, when you have 4K quality uh, going, also, uh, it's probably about 20 frames a second. Which, with next gen consoles, um, will be a stable 60 F- FPS at 4K, which you know obviously is a big upgrade. Um, which, you know, you do need a 4K TV or 4K monitor to run at 4K. Um, uh, we have a max of 120 FPS, uh, at 1080p, um, which, you know, most TVs are at. So you'll be running about 120, um, when you play, when you play your games. Yeah, uh, each generation of consoles will have about one terabyte, um, automatically factory settings come with it. Uh, and we'll have 16 gigs of RAM in each of them, which is way higher than the PlayStation 4 and uh, the uh, series, or Xbox One. Um, but which one should you buy? Should you buy PlayStation or should you buy Xbox Series X? Um, so it all depends on like what you've played before. If you haven't played anything before, then we're going to give you the rundown of each of the specs. But um, I prefer PlayStation. I've played uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3. Eddie, um, I prefer I, PlayStation Two, boys. <laughs> yep. So, um, you know, Eddie's also a PlayStation. Uh, many people. Um, I mean, it's kind of just a heated debate. You know, PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, it. You know, um, you decide though. Um, we'll get you uh, looked at on the specs. All right. So starting with the exclusives coming out for the PS Five, we first have Spider-Man and Miles Morales, a standalone game and a sort of a sequel. You know, the developers kind of said, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's sort of a sequel to uh, Marvel Spider-Man. It's also the launch title for the PS5. The next the next game we have now that's coming out is Horizon Forbidden West, and that's the sequel to Zero Dawn, and it's set to release around 2021. Nice. Now for the upcoming games coming out for next-gen overall, so for both consoles, we we have Cyberpunk 2077, a highly anticipated game created by CD Projekt Red, the, who are also the creators of The Witcher 3: Wild Hunt, and is set to release on November 19, 2020, for current and next gen consoles. Next, we have Rockstar releasing a game for next gen. Can you guess what it is, guys? I'll give you it. <laughs> it's not a new game. It's GTA 5. Yeah, that's right, guys. GTA 5 is releasing for next gen consoles. <sighs> oh, we'll give you a few seconds for that disappointing news. <laughs> but now we have even better news. <laughs> we have uh, Resident Evil 8 Village by Capcom. It's coming out for next gen around 2021. With the popularity of the last three releases, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and Resident Evil 3 Remake, there are going to be some expectations from Capcom to deliver again with this game. Um, So now we're going to end off with some of the Xbox exclusives that are coming out. Um, First we have Halo uh, Infinite, which is one of the most anticipated games coming out. Uh, this coming year uh, for the Xbox Series X. Um, Master Chief returns in this in this uh, new chapter of the Halo series with humanity's fate hanging on the balance. For the key features of the 
Xbox Series X, we got 4K visuals at 60 frames per second and 8K visuals. Wow! <laughs> and uh, 120 frames per second support. Uh, ray tracing, we got near instant load times, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> and for the for the games coming out, like we mentioned, there's Halo Infinite. There's also Sen Senua's Saga, a Halo Blade 2, and they're full of Xbox One backwards compatibility, so you can play it with your Xbox One you want to get the Series X or the Series S in order to get. And the release date for this is around November 2020, and the process for it, for it is an 8 core, 3 point gigahertz. Wait, is that right, right? Yeah. Okay. AMD Zen 2 GPU. That's good. Alright. Alright, so that's all we're going to have it for today's cheat <laughs> yeah. code. Um, it was a good day today. Uh, Eddie, you can sign off with us, and right. uh, we'll leave it to you. Yeah. Alright, see you on the other side. And geek on. <laughs> geek on, boys. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm sweating. Don't let your kids watch it.